Sunday 6th of June. It's now about half past four in the morning. So I've come down to uh, Cape Water. I've got the drone with me again today. Uh, according to the website, uh, the sun's coming up in about 15 minutes time. So I'm gonna find a decent spot, send the drone up there and see what kind of, uh, sort of shots I can get with it. Hopefully catch a really good sunrise. Okay. Got it all set up. Found a good spot. Got my little uh, drone helipad set up there, so good place to land. Obviously, because it's so early, it's quite sort of wet on the ground there, so that the pad there will protect the drone and the propellers get any water on it. It's actually a little bit of drizzle as well, so hopefully, it'll sort of hold off while I'm up there. Just see a little bit of a uh, bit of orange down the bottom of the horizon over there. So I'm going to go ahead now and uh, take off. So it's now just after six o'clock, uh, another successful flight. There's a couple of issues though. Uh, first of all, I turned on the controller and uh, it just has constant sort of beeping sound for some reason. There's some issue with the, the drone's gimbal. Luckily that sorted itself out and I was able to sort of take off, get all the, the shots that I wanted to do. A little sort of panicky moment as well. I had the, the drone sort of way up over there in the sky, sort of filming the sun. And obviously the battery started to get low, so the auto sort of return home kicked in. And I was looking on the camera view, and it looked like it was going in the complete opposite direction to where I was. So I thought, well, oh, Jesus, I'm going to lose it in a minute. But luckily, uh, couldn't see it, but I heard it above me, and it come in and landed safely. So.
panic over there. So it's just starting to rain now though, so I think it's a good job I got it up in the air when I did, nice and early. And also I had, had the place to myself as well for a good hour, so there's a few people starting to stir now. A lot of dog walkers, uh, some kids came past with sort of loud music, so that kind of sort of spoiled the atmosphere a little bit, but it was good though. Yeah, recommend coming down as early as possible. Took a walk around the whole sort of park as well. And I used a, uh, a feature on this DJI Osmo gimbal that I've got now called Hyperlapse. So you just hold it out in front of you, walk along, and it creates like a almost like a sort of time lapse video of where you're walking. Did work as quite as well as what I expected, but it still looks okay. I'll probably have to play around with that again in the future. Perhaps I think the mistake I made, I sort of moved the camera around too much. It just looks a bit odd. Good little gimbal there folds down really small fits into this little bag. This had previously been used in the uh, Zion Smooth 4. That's quite sort of big and bulky. Comes in this great big sort of molded polystyrene case. So it's not very easy to sort of carry around with you. You need a big bag for it. This is perfect, you know. Yeah, this is here, just give a little view of it. With a tripod attached. Pretty cool feature, this one's magnetic. So it has like a, this little clamp here. If you attach to your phone. So just uh, attach it to the magnet. So real quick and easy to install it. Again with the Zion, it's uh, you know sort of two hands on it, slide it down, and you have to sort of slide these sort of uh, two weights around to balance it. Oh, it just takes forever to set it up, but this is like seconds. So it's really great. Be using that in the uh, the film coming up as well. So it's got a few other sort of features on there, which will help with a lot of things, especially the uh, has active track. So you just uh, draw a box around the subject you have in the frame and no matter where they move it will keep it in the frame centered and follow it around so looking forward to sort of trying that out as well